Even though it is difficult to prove, we know that the concept of karma is well entrenched in our different cultures. This suggests that karma has adapted to our societies. We spoke about this in our first episode. Since the mention of karma in ancient times, karma's philosophical and moral views have expanded. The question that we need to ask ourselves, is this expansion due to people creating more spiritual buzzwords around karma? Is emerging science providing us with potential hints that may support that increase in information? Or it could be a combination of both. At this time, evolving science can only provide us with small pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully, over time, more details will give us a clearer picture. In the meantime, where in science can we look? An area of interest is in the study of photons and their interaction with our DNA. Simply put, a photon is a small packet of electromagnetic energy. Photons are the basic unit that makes up all light. They are not thought to be made of any smaller particles, so they are called elementary particles or a basic unit of nature. DNA is the genetic material determining the makeup of all living cells and many viruses. Its structure resembles a ladder twisted in a spiral. In 1993, Dr. Cleve Baxter and his team designed a revolutionary protocol to look at the effect of our emotions on our DNA. If affected, at what distance would the effect end? They collected DNA from a volunteer and placed it in a specially designed chamber in another room. The DNA was measured electrically for changes in response. When the subject in another room was shown a series of graphic videos to trigger different strong emotional responses, the DNA in the other area showed strong electrical reactions. Dr. Baxter then continued the investigations at an even greater distance, at one time 350 miles separated the donor and the DNA. Yet the same effects took place. But the time of the response was instantaneous, measured by an atomic clock. It showed that human emotions have a direct impact on their DNA. Distance appears to be of no consequence. In another study reported in 1995, a quantum biologist Vladimir Poponin and his colleague Peter Garyev describes a series of experiments they demonstrated that our human DNA has a direct relationship with the energy that our world is made up of. They designed an experiment to test the behavior of DNA on the quantum stuff that our world is made up of, photons. They removed all of the air from a specially designed tube creating what we call a vacuum. In conventional science, that vacuum is empty of everything. But they knew that light particles or photons would still be inside the container. They showed that the photons were everywhere in the container, moving around randomly. When they inserted samples of human DNA into the container, 
they observed a response that defied conventional physics. The photons stopped their scattered pattern and lined themselves into a highly specific formation. But even more surprising, when the DNA was removed from the container, they expected that the photons would return to their random scattered way. But the photons remained in the same order that existed when the DNA was still in the tube. Let us link these experiments together. Strong emotions affect our DNA. Our DNA affects the quantum stuff of our universe. Emotional judgments influence our karma. Love, compassion, kindness create good karma. And anger, hate produces negative karma. So what if all our emotions are actually being recorded permanently in the universe by the photons? The universe is fingerprinting our emotions and waiting for us to either clear up our messes or reap our rewards. I always think of this when my emotions are driving me. Am I polluting or cleaning my universe? Are you?